Hello. We're gonna go to the movies. A movie? Yeah. This one will be at the Regal. Beagle? And yeah, and it will be in sign language. And what? it will be the, a movie about Jesus. Jesus? Yeah, what's the name of it? Jesus. A deaf missions a deaf missions film. Oh good. Yeah, that's what we're gonna see. So when we get back out to the car, we'll let you know what we thought about it. I go to the movies with friend wife. Who would have thought? So here's my opinions. My opinions don't matter. Your opinions don't matter. What? We just put our opinions on the internet. It's what we do as a culture. No one knows why we do it, but we can't seem to stop. So for what it's worth, I am the Joshua Lukoku, and these are mine. We go to the movie on a very romantic day night. In the afternoon. Yeah. And we saw the Sign Language Jesus movie. Mm -hmm. Jesus, a deaf missions film. Yeah. And it's kind of like The Chosen, except it's all in sign language. Mm -hmm. and way it, cool. Yeah. And it is it is not like Chosen in other ways. So. Correct. But, uh, yeah. So. It, it is about the life of Jesus. Yes. It is about the life of Jesus. And, you know, I thought they did a pretty good job. You know, as far as other things. Obviously, everybody's going to compare it to The Chosen because it's the current it's thing. It's the current thing that's about that. Uh, there was, there was pretty good production value. I thought it was good. Yeah. It wasn't, uh, quite as cinematic as, uh, The Chosen, but for what they're doing, you know, it was pretty good. This is the first time, in, as my knowledge, of a 100% ASL film yeah. about Jesus in the theater. Yeah, it was in the theater. A biblical thing. Yeah, so... And I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. I mean, they got the... And Death Missions does quality work. They they care about wanting their product to be of good quality. Yeah. So, um, let's, let's do some critiques. Um, I thought they, they did a wonderful job for what they're working with. Because if you, uh, what, what ends up happening is if you, if you want to have everyone be an actual deaf person mm -hmm. then the acting pool you know it, it it's it gets very small mm -hmm. so <laughs> and they have to have somewhat of an interest in wanting to do a film about jesus yeah yeah so, so it's like you have a very not small just pool of christian people. actors but uh christian actors are not just deaf actors uh -huh. but christian deaf actors uh -huh. or at or least people okay with wanting to yeah do. I thought one guy that did really good was the, the, the high priest. I thought he was a great actor. I thought the guy who did Pontius Pilate, he kind of was a little funny, but I, but I liked it. Mm -hmm. There were certain, of course, you got to talk about Jesus. He did a good job. There was something, he seemed very baby-faced to me. So <laughs> he That's just, just him. That's yeah, not, a, I, that's I not a critique of, well, well, that's just what he looks like. Yeah, but he, he was like, he just seemed too cute. Oh, I don't know. I see. I see. The <laughs> it, it, Bible says this man is not handsome. Yeah. You yeah. are too handsome for this part, dude. Yeah, well, well, not so much <laughs> no, that, but I, he's just. No. He, is, he was very, like, an attractive person. Yeah, so I, I, cute. I, 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 nothing against him, you know, or anything like that. Uh, there were some instances where um, things came off. A little just like the people are delivering lines sort of thing and and not necessarily acting like that'll come <laughs> yeah yeah that'll come one time yeah. and maybe they'll um because it was <clears throat> was successful maybe that will yeah they'll be able to do another film yeah there's stuff for like the that. first time for doing something of this magnitude it's fabulous yeah so i didn't I mean, it's going to run into some of the same critiques that The Chosen gets, too, because you have to make some, you have to take some artistic liberties. Sure. And with it being, like, a biblical story, then people are, yeah. like, very cautious about that. Yeah, and sometimes sometimes people get very upset, especially when you add, put words. Yes. This is an English There's, there's, English there's not in, words in idiom. that text. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like you add words to the to the texts that are supposed to be sacred, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Someone's mowing the grass. Yeah. Oh, anyway. 
They didn't know we were making they this didn't. very important video. They didn't. Very important as it is. So there's stuff like that. There is an instance where um, they have Mary Magdalene go to talk to Mary, Jesus's mother, who seems to be the same age. Yeah, but that's, but, I mean, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so they, they go and, you know, and she has a conversation about the birth of Jesus. So that's an artistic decision you make sure. because they didn't do a birth story at the beginning of the movie. Should have kind of given so, that information. Yeah, yeah. they kind of start off with, uh, oh, and so there's that. There's, you know, there's some different things I saw where they took interpretive liberties, but that's, that you, you kind of have to do to. that. So my question to you is what did you notice from a film point? You have to think about different things when you do something 100% in sign language because you have to see the hands and the top to get the dialogue. Well, that, so that is the main problem with, noticed. with, uh, movies are cut very fast nowadays. Right. So it's like the average edit in a movie nowadays is like four, three, four seconds. And, and, you and, can't, and you in can't an get action movie, in. it's like sure. two. So you basically end up having to film everything very flat. You know, it's like this camera, it has to be very, you know, everything, it has to be shot from the hip to, to so you get the, the dialogue, full range which is of very different than sign if you were doing and it's something auditory based yeah and you end up having to have you you can't do as much over the shoulder sure stuff where you looking at the person's face over the other person's shoulder because half their body the is blocked by the here. person's head sure and so there's things that people have become accustomed to in film that it's it doesn't not, translate yeah it doesn't <laughs> translate uh -huh. but yeah but it doesn't you know it so it, it makes a it look, set of skills yeah well it makes it it makes it seem as if it's amateurish uh, but but it's it's, it's technically it's technically how it has to happen how are you going to do that mm -hmm. unless you just have a person in a box on the side and that's you know? not that's no go yeah so <laughs> so it's kind of just the way deaf film things have, have to be filmed so but considering all those dynamics and making it look good I yeah thought, i thought, like, they, I like, thought they did. there's so many things you have to like overcome or like yeah. it's amazing yeah yeah so it's so there's there's certain things like that they did there was a soundtrack that they didn't make any uh they didn't have any people sounds but there was music going throughout the whole thing for the hearing audience, I guess, mm -hmm. stuff like that. And which, a deaf which, which uh, the reason music is added is to emotionally manipulate the person watching. To emotionally manipulate sounds bad. But yeah. it's like, to it's cue too, you into, yeah. this is what, this is what we're this doing This is now. funny, this it's is lighthearted, this is scary. You know, yeah. which, uh, which is interesting because... For a deaf audience, that's not that's not help. That's anything not, like that's that. Nothing. And I yeah, and I've actually thought about this a lot, like how you could do things visually oh, and stuff like that. That but would be a, a yeah, similar yeah. Just like if things are getting scary, you know, you take some of the the color out just just oh, slightly, like you know, how just to slightly. Translate that to a visual yeah. thing. That's yeah. Stuff I bet like there's that. things in like. There's specific schooling where you learn these things, and I'm very interested in yeah. this. Yeah, but so I mean, there's there's that that's for interesting ASL stuff. Film but training. so yeah, but uh, one interesting thing is that uh, Jesus has a different sign name. That was very because interesting. he wouldn't have been. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know, he wouldn't have been Jesus Be until until he had, after he was crucified. Yeah, so the, I thought that was a very interesting. But I also thinking about it, you know, at the beginning of the movie, they have Jesus change, change Peter's name. Uh -huh. And then at the end, Peter is giving Jesus a different oh, name. Oh, I didn't catch that. <laughs> it's just, I didn't catch that. It's just a little thing. Uh-huh. Which would only, only in a deaf context, because that obviously didn't, that. didn't happen. Right. That did not happen. Is but that, to make it work. Yeah. With sign language and yeah, I thought culturally, it was that was a really interesting yeah. thing. So, I mean, it's it's a good thing to watch. You know, it's good for the deaf community that and have their own people. thing. So, yeah. Yeah. What I have heard, um, <laughs> um, what, have, what someone was hard of hearing, they're, what they said about it, what they noticed, which I didn't notice, is that um, 
when the crowd yelled crucify him, there was like crowd noise, which I didn't notice. Oh, yeah, I like, didn't. Like, I didn't that there notice. was no people sound, like there was like, okay, yeah, background music, but then, yeah, so you, you hear nothing until you hear the crowd cry that. That was very like, had an emotional impact on that person and that wasn't yeah. something I even noticed. So I was like, I didn't that was that. a cool feature. Right. Um, and, and. I, they were all going like this. They kept going like. Yes. Uh -huh. Which I guess, and it that makes sounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. I did okay. wonder, and then there are certain other signs um, that were made like throughout where something was like very like impactful, and you could hear, you could hear the sounds of the language, like mm -hmm. you could hear this the 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 point of contact. Whether mm -hmm. I don't, I can't remember what some of those were, and I was wondering if that was natural sound or if that was added later. If they ADR sign language, yes, that's funny. because <laughs> because when you're making certain signs that are two handed or they do make sound, so I was very just I mean, that's a very technical, it doesn't matter thing, but I was just very like I noticed that I thought that was very interesting. But, um, what I've been hearing is that like seeing the story play out in 100% sign language and like to see it visually with such care to costuming. Um, what am I trying to like set design like like if such quality and then seeing it like in their language how impactful it was and how it made the story so clear and I think that's a wonderful thing I think that's really cool yeah because I I'm trying to equate it to if I were to watch something with just subtitles would it hit me the same way as if I hear it and so for this to be something the first of its kind to be like visually here's the story for you, D you know, by deaf people for deaf people like how how cool yeah how way way cool so yeah so oh, anyway i know one more thing i'm sorry it's getting long um when they did the um not uh the last supper mm -hmm. they the tables were set like like deaf friendly they were set in a u oh yeah yeah because mm -hmm. you know like in the in the artistry like all the people are sitting on one side of the table and it's like that we, yeah, well, I, like like I, in the famous art, it's yeah. like that's not that people. That's not technically that there there wasn't a lot of chairs back then. Anyway, yeah, but don't so you think people kind of lounged around? But don't you think they would recline on both sides of the table? Yeah, yeah, but but in this, like the tables were set in a U, yeah. and they were so you could see everyone signing, which was a very deaf friendly way to do it. But I just thought that was like. Like, it looked very natural, but I was like, oh, that's, I see what you did there. It was, that was yeah. cool. I just thought that was a cool moment. Yeah. Cool thing. So, yeah. So, that's all what we're just saying. Yeah, so the movie, they did a pretty good job, you know. Excellent. So, you, you should try to watch it somehow, which I guess yeah. is on their website or something. Yeah, you can go to Deaf Mission's website, and, and like, there's place you can, now that it's finished being in theaters, or soon will, um, you can, like, host an event. So, be looking for places around that might be like a deaf church or a school or a big group of deaf community might like host it where you like stream it. Yeah. So um, if you think you missed it, maybe you didn't miss it. Maybe yeah. there's still time. You can stream that. Yeah. So there we go. Yeah. Thanks for uh, listening. Yeah. Have a nice day. So those were our first thoughts and opinions after seeing Jesus. A, a deaf, deaf missions, missions film. film. Yeah. So we're throwing those thoughts and opinions up on the thoughts and opinions pile. They will soon be buried by everybody else's thoughts and opinions. So go ahead and tell us your thoughts and opinions in the comments section. You know, like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, all that good sort of stuff. And uh, don't forget to feed your cat. And, uh, you know, don't, don't kill a guy for being nice. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> See ya on the next date night. <laughs>